Hey gents, a little bit of a different video today. I'm gonna to show you around the studio, and to do that, let's pull out a little bit, and let's get it off of this tripod here. All right, so let's start over at my desk here. All right, so everything really starts around uh, my workspace here. So this is my 27-inch iMac. It's actually a little long in the tooth. I wanna upgrade pretty soon. But the standing desk I built about five years ago, at the time, there weren't the cool like Vera desks or that sort of thing, but I built it exactly to my height and it's really sturdy. Uh, this here is a Barracuda that my dad caught and it's one of the only things that I really have from him. He died a few years ago. And then this is the picture that he caught it. And so I always remember that. And then this is like a name tag my son made for me. So I just put that on top of here. But yeah, so I have, you know, this is where I spend a lot of my time working. I have an electric kettle, I have a light. These are the JBL Creature speakers. And so these I've actually had for a long time too. I got them while I worked back at Apple. And then I put this shelf in here to put more clothes because I basically moved all of my clothes out to the studio. I mean, pretty much everything is out here. So this is one way I can organize it. I'm actually gonna be getting rid of the sweaters soon now that it's spring. And down here is like the brains of everything are 60 terabytes of hard drive space down here. Wi-Fi, this is my TV antenna. And then I store some things. And then you're gonna see a lot of mess because uh, I can't keep it really organized. This is uh, all the performance chinos that are coming very soon in a video. And then I got some things here. And this whole thing, this is my organizing the no-show sock roundup, which I missed one deadline, I'm still working on that. Should be shooting that the rest of today. I have my steamer so I can get the clothes steamed out of the box, vacuum. And then this is also where I'll work. I put up this soundproof foam to record podcasts. And then I built this desk for my wife as well. Uh, but I've now co-opted it since our since our kids were born. Or I'll work on the iPad here. I've got some shelves and all kinds of stuff over here. And then when I bought this foam, the idea was to put it all on the ceiling. But unfortunately, it's super expensive. This is like B&H Pro level audio foam. Um, I got a pod here, this is where I shoot the top down. But if we jump up to the ceiling, this is where I built like DIY sound dampeners. And so here I can like, it helps a little bit with the echo. And so I put those up when I first built the studio. And then mirror, big window. The nice thing about this window is like when the sun comes up, it comes up right there. So I get a really beautiful view in the morning, get nice light throughout the day. This paper calendar changed everything for my productivity which is really nice. I mean, I started putting things on here and now I can stick to a schedule and really work with it. And so there's that. This is where all the videos get shot, obviously. So this is a, a poster, this is James Bond here. This is like a little caddy for you know, suits. I'll put clothes here as I'm working through things. And then I have all the tripods. Um, you know, I have my different things here. And this, these are my shoes for the no-show sock roundup so that I can you know, test out each of those. So the second floor is all about work, and then downstairs is a little more relaxed. So this is like the HVAC unit. People ask about, like, I can't keep it cool or hot in here. And then I keep my old breakfast poster right here uh, as a, you know, first thing in the channel. And then this picture from Vineyard Vines, uh, they opened a store in Pittsburgh and I met Shep and Ian and they signed the picture. That's when I used to work for uh, the startup, but now I'm out on my own. For the first floor, I'll start right here. When I come in in the morning, I put things right on this clothes hook. This clothes hook is from Dapper Woodworks. I'll link to him. Justin's a really cool guy, and it's a little bit overloaded right now, but I basically always put my jacket right here. But this is where I try to keep things organized, but it's also uh, a little bit messy. So all the shoes, these shoe racks actually build up. And so I started off with two of them, add a third, and I actually have a fourth I need to put here. Try to keep the shoes organized. You know, basically down here is where, if I wanna watch a YouTube video, if I wanna like hang out, I'll come down and, and sit down here. So this is uh, my bar area. I have, you know, whatever you might need to have some tea or make drinks, uh, different sort of things here. And then this is basically my to-do list. This is like my immediate to-do list. It's like I get, these are the boxes I need to open up pretty soon and start to work on. Uh, a little bit overloaded right now. And actually talking about Dapper Woodworks, let's, let's go right to this. So this is the pocket square organizer with shelf that Justin built and sent over and I really like it. I wanna get like, I wanna like put all these things along here. But I have a couple of things that are important to me up here. This is a picture that Brock sent me with a Casey Neistat quote. This is Leo Laporte. I followed him for a very long time in the podcast space. Um, here's Dapper Woodworks. This is a flask that I got for each of my best, or my best man and all the groomsmen at my wedding. This is a, a wallet that I got as being a best man, um, candle. And then this is a card that I got when I used to work with Dior at my old company. 
uh, and then all my pocket squares. This bunny, I won in a contest that for Blink-182 when their newest, when their neighborhood album came out. Uh, so it's signed by Mark, Tom, and Travis, the original Blink-182 guys, and so I really like this bunny. And then this is the Orbit turntable with the matching walnut. Basically, I have four black walnut trees in my in my yard, and so like any time that I'm working with wood, I try to use like a black walnut finish or I use walnut wood. Uh, so that's the Orbit turntable. And then 4K TV, and then I put all my like video games down here. I don't play them as much as I used to, but I also keep uh, my N64 on hand with Gold. My GoldenEye is my favorite one, but we'll get to the video games in a minute. But yeah, I have some records in here, and then uh, my receiver. Now these speakers were like my dream setup. I always wanted Bowers and Wilkins like tower speakers, and when I read to the studio, I was like, all right, it's time to, to go for it. The subwoofer, however, that I bought ended up breaking, so now it's basically a coffee table, so eventually I'll get a coffee table here, but for now this is working. I got the flamethrower right here. <laughs> Haven't mounted that yet, but I think I might put it up here or maybe somewhere in the back. Have all of my these are basically the rest of my clothes for uh, spring. So I took all my winter clothes, I'm moving those back to the house, and then the spring stuff out here. Uh, you might recognize this, Brian Sakawa. I actually, I liked his setup so much that when he was selling it, I picked it up from his house. So this is from uh, Brian Sakawa's house. So that has the shoe rack, uh, trousers over here. I keep my suits right here, shirts, everything else. And there's actually another tie. Uh, pretty cool. So. That's kind of like the closet tour. The closet tour of 2019 is done at the same time uh, as this. And then this here, I designed with my brother. When I when the stairs were built, I always pictured having all of the stuff that I love right here. And so, like top down, this is my original Sega Genesis, and then I have another Sega Genesis that I got from friend of the channel and, my, and a Game Gear. Still working on fixing that, a couple of video games, and then I used to play a lot more video games than I do now, but I still have all the ones that I used to play. And then I do collect James Bond video games, so I have every James Bond video game. I also have a 1960s board game that uh, is out of print, and but I do have all the games for this. I still haven't played it. I'm looking for somebody to play it with. Going right down, N64. These are all my original games. My original N64. I also have the new Super Nintendo systems, and then these are like this is like the original James Bond Game Boy game. Uh, some books, these were some books from my previous, you know, I used to work, and so I have like solution selling. Uh, I have a Rolex book, this is the, the box for my commander's watch, some James Bond things. And then this is my grandfather's humidor. He passed away two years ago, Whoop, but this was a custom made humidor with his initials. And I got a couple things in there, I gotta put some uh, water, water in there. But yeah, I got a couple other books here. Dressing the man, very important. And then I keep some snacks in my watch box. That's the Kirby Allison shoe shine kit that I keep on hand. And then the campaign couch, which you guys saw a video on as well. I actually used to have this carpet in our bedroom, brought it out here. But I think you know, the, the way that this studio came together is I bought this house in 2013. It was foreclosed and I renovated the whole house. And this it was essentially a detached garage. I always pictured it, I, there was a few iterations. I was like, all right, I'll do like a movie theater, I'll do a clubhouse type of thing, uh, I'll do a workshop. But then as I was out, as my daughter was born, I had to move out of the extra bedroom that I was using, the purple room, and then and I moved to the basement. And that was not attainable, sustainable because my head would go into the rafters, like the rafters were about here uh, in a lot of those videos. And so I switched to making this studio and I'll put a picture up, the roof had rotted off of this when I bought the house. And so I had to knock the roof off and luckily I wanted a second floor because if it was just the first floor, it would not have been enough room. So I built the second floor, we finished that in about January, and then this second, you know, the second phase of the studio was done in August and then I left my job in September because it was all part of the plan. When I decided in May I was going to leave my job, I had to finish this so I had a place to come work in the middle of the day and really separate everything so I wasn't like working at home. You know, I'm working at home, but I'm not working at home. You know, this whole thing came about because of the success of the channel and I'm just very thankful for everything uh, associated with it. And so I do spend time outside the studio. I'm out of the studio at least once or twice a week uh, in the city for meetings or photo shoots, that sort of thing. 
but then, you know, I can also come right out here. So this used to be a garage door. Uh, it was like a rotted out garage door, turned it into French doors. And so now like this is my yard and I got a couple of chairs and I can just kind of sit here and uh, enjoy the suburban view. And then my house is uh, up there. So that's the studio, it's where I spend tons of my time. Actually, I'll bring my, my kids out here every once in a while and my son likes to play uh, old video games and so I'm gonna really continue to encourage that. But thanks for coming in, checking out the studio. As always, I'll be down in the comments if you have any questions. I'm going to end this now. So until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.